Welcome to another video on the Honda E. Today I am dedicating this video to the parking functionality or smart parking, whatever you want to call it, on the Honda E. So I'm going to go through both parking modes it's got. Now what we have done over here is we have set up a little mock-up of the whole situation. So we got a beautiful Nissan Micra, Mario's Nissan Micra, beautiful, fine specimen. And then we've left this humongous gap, which is, leave a little bit of space, one, two, three, four, five spaces, and a little bit extra, and to mimic a parallel park, essentially. And then we're gonna go through uh, the other park that I've forgotten the name of. There she is there, look, look at it, what a beauty. So I'm gonna go and get in and then I'm gonna try and park in here using the automated functions. So I'm looking for a parking space. Looking for a parking space. Searching for parking space, drive slowly. Okay, so I'm driving slowly, very slowly. Nothing. Oh, yeah, we've got a parking space here. So it's saying back in or parallel park in. So parallel park in. Let's try that. Nothing's happening. There we are. Now press the brake and park. Done. The car is moving forwards to the red line. There's a wall there though. Whoa, there's a wall there. What's it doing? I've put the brake on because I don't want it to smash into the wall. Okay, I've put the brake on then. The parking operation cancelled. Apply the brake. Parking operation cancelled. Check your surroundings. Okay. Let's try that again. That was weird. So let's let's see if we can do it in reverse. So now I'm gonna do it in reverse. See if it can find a parking space. Nothing so far, nothing. Okay, let's try it again. Let's drive now and we're looking for a parking space. It's found nothing so far. It's a bit weird because cars are parked straight on, but we're trying it. Um, nothing. Oh, okay. Let's now do PP in. Let's try it again. PP in. Okay. And uh, put the foot on the brake. This isn't going to drive into the wall now. Hopefully. Okay. Here we go. Okay. It's all itself. Okay, it's now steering to go forward. Boom. Let's put the handbrake on. Parking complete. Well, there we go, I get out of the vehicle. Well, okay, it didn't smash up your car, which is good. And it parked itself. Probably thrown it a little bit with having a wall right in front of it, maybe and vehicles parked in an opposite way you'd expect, but I think it's only looking for a body of a vehicle to be in the way, so that worked. Let's now go and try the drive-in parking functionality in one of these bays here. So we move Mario's car, get it straight, and then try and park alongside it, I'm suggesting. Here goes nothing. I'm gonna reverse back now, pass where Mario is. What I'm gonna do is drive along, Look for space. Not offering any at the moment. No, it's offering no parking spaces. It's interesting, isn't it? So let's see if I can get it to offer some. Let's try again. I think it would pick up that one to the right of his car. No, a bit slower maybe. 
No. Okay, let's try this row of them here. Let's try these. Ah, it's picking up these, okay. Okay, it's picking up these spaces properly. Okay, let's see if it can curl round and then get onto Mario's where he is now. Okay, the problem we got, Mario, is a double bay. So it's a double bay where yours isn't really in a parking space. It picks up all the other bays, not the double bays where you're parked in the thing. Yeah, if you move your car. He's gonna park in bay number 21, which is there. And we're gonna see what the system does in regard to uh, the other bays. So the issue is these are normal parking bays. Then you've got these, which are double bays. So you've got this part, this part, split out into multiple bays, and then you've got faded lines up here. So yeah, a bit problematic. And now Mario's showing up his true, true parking finesse. <laughs> Take two. This is what he needs. He needs the parking abilities of the Honda. Oh, that's lovely. He's in that bay, lovely. So I'm going to aim probably to park this side, maybe. So I'm just going to spin round now and drive along here like it's a normal day. Um, I'm going to bomb round and then see what lines it picks up. Drive, let's go. So I'm going to look for some parking bays. Brilliant, van coming, exact same time. Perfect timing. And then we're gonna go along these parking bays. It says searching slowly for parking. So it's drive slow, as you see. Oh, I see. I'm gonna park by him though. So I wanna complicate this slightly by saying, yeah, I would actually like, yeah, I wanna go here. Let's stop early. So let's do that. And let's park bad boy. Here we go. I'm checking my surroundings, which is quite easy. So it always reverses in and then from this, I should be able to get it to drive out as well. So it's going in. Mm, it's working. It's working lovely. Boom. Actually, there we are. Perfect. So if now I want to get out, Let's pretend that I've got out the car, like you would do normally. Right, so theoretically, now I've got out the car, I've gone and done my shopping, I should be able to leave this space using the same function, I think. Now the car's booted down, I'm gonna get back in and see if it will let me leave the parking space. I suppose this is if you're in a real tight area and you've got other cars parked in this, I don't know why you'd want it to drive out, you can just drive out. But I'll give it a go, see if it works. Start. Let's go. Um, okay, let's press that. Check your surroundings. Preparing Honda parking pilot system. In, out, pull out. Okay, see what happens here then. Pull out operation route unavailable. Pull out operation is not available. Okay, parking? What does that do? Apply the brake and change to drive. Okay, it's just saying searching for parking space. So let's say pull out. Pull out operation is not available. Okay, I'm gonna try something different. So it says, it says not available. So I'm gonna drive nose in and see if it then allows me to get myself out of a parking space when I'm facing inwards. Don't know, I'm gonna give it a go. Ah, okay, yeah, so check your surroundings. Check, select direction of pull-out operation. Well, I'm not, I just don't really think that's gonna do anything. So, 
apply the brake and release the parking brake. I'm not really sure what this is doing. I don't get what pull out is. It's going to go there. Check for approaching traffic. And it's going to stop here, isn't it? I've no idea what that feature's for. Apply the brake to complete pull-out operation. Why, why would you want it to do that? What am I missing there? Am I missing something there? Don't, don't get it. Let's try it one more time. I'm going to come across this way where there's less parking spaces to start with and I'm going to park it up. Let's see how well it parks within the bay and then we'll call it quits then with the testing. Wow, so it's quite quick. So the speeds at which it um, allows you to park is, is quite quick. We're just parking a different bay this time. Just gonna see how it works. And I'm also gonna test to see whether I can use the pullout feature now after not getting out of the car. I don't know why you'd use that feature, but there we are. Might be handy if it was when you weren't in the car. Comment below if you can understand why you'd need that. Done. Now it's, oh. <laughs> it's not done. <laughs> it's reversing back again. Uh. Apply the brake. Okay, applied the brake. Parking operation cancelled, presumably because of the barrier behind. So, yeah. Okay, check your surroundings. What does this do? Oh, that's the camera angles. Okay, let's now park and brake. Let's go there. Let's then try and pull out. In out, uh, pull out. Pull out operation not available. I don't know what that's for. It doesn't make any sense to me at all. Okay, I'm just going to try one more and see what speed it reads the parking bays at, because it says drive slowly. I'm gonna monitor the speed, see what I can get, see if I can do it at just about 10 miles an hour. Okay, it's reading it at 14 miles an hour, so that's fine. Let's do one in front and see what it does. So this is now in front of the car. So it's gonna go drive a long way forward, yeah. This is how long the process takes. This won't park now because of the barrier. No, it has this time. So it's done it anyway. So it's a bit hit and miss with barriers and things like that, which you might find in a car park. Sweet, job done. So just testing the speed, rather than trying to see what turns, when it turns off. So this is now, oh, 14 miles an hour, was it? So it comes back in 14. Ah, oh, it turns off at 15 miles an hour. So it's expecting you to drive along. It's not a bad speed, is it? You can drive along at 15 miles an hour, anything above that, and it turns the system off and doesn't display your parking. So that's the answer there. You can drive along the street at 15 miles an hour, um, and you can press it before you've got to 15 miles an hour, which is quite neat. It doesn't turn the system off, it just says not displayed. So you can go along, you know you're gonna park up, and then you can start to slow down. So as we come in now, I can slow it down. It's gonna start looking for spaces, which is doing right now. Just slow it down, think, yeah, I want to park here. You just grab one of the spaces. Uh, parking operation was not started. Getting this, this in your head is, right, here we go, so we're started now. So I'm just gonna go off now and try a slightly fuller car park and just see what it's actually like, say if you're driving around a multi-story, we'll see what it's like. Okay, so now I'm going into a car park. I'm gonna press the car park thing. 
it's looking for spaces. There's people parked all over the place here. Uh, just driving along like normal, just normal. Everything's normal. Oh, it's found a space. It's now disappeared, that space. It doesn't see any of these spaces because they did. It was all some, but because they're so not painted well, it's not working on poorly painted lines. So these, I can see them, so they're enough for me to see them, but they're not white. There's one. I want that one. Almost went out of shot. So let's back in and just check if it works. So I press back in, nothing happened. Press back in. Check your surroundings, yeah. Press that button. Boom, here we go. So this allegedly is going to back in. It looks like it's measured up the space, though, wrong, but maybe not. I don't know what it's doing here. Uh, I see. This is an interesting one, actually, because he hasn't parked properly. So as you might be able to see in the screen, he's actually parked across two bays. So I've got my foot over the brake just in case. But basically, he's parked across two bays. Still parking there. It's parked lovely alongside him. He's done a really good job with that. Done. Okay, well, that's good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go and park myself. So I'm going to drive along and then park here with nose facing outwards and just see how long it takes me. I think I'm human. How long to park? Boom. So we're going to come along here. Oh, there's a parking space. I'd like to park here. Yeah, I think I'll park there. Oh, I got a reversing camera. That's quite handy. And I got my mirrors. Very good. So I think that was a little bit quicker than the like, exponentially longer AI parking system. Yeah. I think on most occasions, unless I've got a bad neck or back or something, I'm just going to park the car myself, unless it's really tight. I think that's probably the best. But there you go. Hopefully, I've run through most of the things you wanted to know about this parking system we know it cuts out at 15 miles an hour or you can go up to a maximum of 15 miles an hour whilst you're driving down a road we know that certain things like double parking double length parking spaces can be a bit funny we also know if there's a wall right there it can be problematic so there's many situations where it won't work but it will be useful for some people in certain situations i just don't think you can rely on it a hundred percent it's a bit hit and miss with what it's going to do um so, yeah, please like, subscribe, share, and comment below on what you think of the parking system that Honda's developed. I don't think it's unique to this car. I think it's across the Honda range when you choose it as an option. Um, so, yeah, I will see you on the next video. Job done, isn't it? I think that's dead, that camera.